How does distance learning facilitate and help teachers and schools? It does so because the teachers gain the expertise, but schools do not lose the teaching hours, resulting in economic benefits. The teacher gets better prepared through distance learning opportunities and the school benefits because now the teacher knows more, the teacher has better skills, the teacher can convey to the students and work with the students in a much better manner. The new technology available to teachers and students with respect to environmental education allows schools in the developing worlds to link directly with those in industrialized countries. And today on the social media, you have lots of schools from around the world asking if there are schools interested in joining hands with them in other parts of the world. So as teachers, you should be aware, you should find those opportunities, find those schools that are interested in making a link with you and develop that link and let the students in these two different areas interact with one another. The teachers in these two different areas should also interact with one another, exchange experiences, exchange ideas, share suggestions, recommendations, opinions. There is so much to learn sitting in your own classroom from elsewhere around the world. Technology provides this opportunity. We have to learn what to do with it. And basically, you don't need fancy equipment. You basically need a laptop or an iPad with Skype on it, and you're set to go. You, Of course, you need bandwidth and connectivity, but no expensive equipment is needed. And laptops and iPads are not that expensive today. If you have one in the classroom, everyone in the classroom can benefit. Learn how to use. And in our next module, we will be looking at the impact of technology, and there we will be talking about how you can build classrooms with these kinds of gadgets and how you can use a one-gadget classroom to benefit all the students in the classroom. The discussions between children and schools on opposite sides of the climate change mitigation and adaptation debate are likely to produce amazing ideas and contribute significantly to education on these issues. People sitting in two different parts of the world, one at this end and one at the other, can see the same issue in very different perspectives. Therefore, it is important to interact with people from elsewhere because then you get a fresh perspective, a new perspective, a different perspective to the same issue. Things that we may not think of or we may not think as important People on the other side of the globe may think it is important and it may open our eyes and our understanding to the breadth and depth of the issue. And therefore, allowing children to do it on their own, the teacher in this case is only a facilitator or should be only a facilitator. If the teacher is doing most of the talking in this exchange, then the children are not learning. If we want children to learn, we have to allow them to do most of the talking, which means you will have to prepare your children with the right kind of questions, with the right kind of comments. Just wean them through, see what they intend to say, how good it is, or should they say it, should they not say it. You can have a preliminary pilot run in your classroom before actually going online with somebody in another part of the world. The Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment Initiative is an example of this approach. So look for it. Look on the Internet. Find this, Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment. See how you, as the teacher, how your classroom can join this discussion, this group, and learn and benefit from the exposure that you might get. It is an excellent opportunity for young people to interact, and then if the children have their tablets and iPads, even if one of them have it, three, four, five friends could get together and start their own discussion forum, their own discussion group, and lots of opportunity, opportunities and ways to interact with people from different parts of the globe. The program instills a sense of environmental stewardship in students, 
and advances a broader understanding of global environmental science. What? So there are two benefits. What do we have to gain? Number one, we understand why we need to take care of the environment. And it's important that young people understand more than we do why taking care of the environment is important. Enough damage and harm has been done. How do we stop that? And how do we not create new damage and harm? And second, it gives a global perspective to the issue. And so you are not looking at environment from a local perspective. You're not looking at the environment from a national perspective, but you're looking at the environment from an international, a global perspective. That is what young people need to understand and take part in to join hands with people from around the globe to save planet Earth. After all, this is the only place any human being can call home. There is life on no other planet, and we would not be able to survive if we went there.